Let's talk about errors you can receive during an analysis in, in visual analysis. And we're going to limit our discussion to linear problems. Whenever we have a nonlinear problem or a second order problem with P delta analyses, for example, or one way members or mem semi rigid membranes or possibly cable elements, do an iterative analysis. And that tends to self correct many of the problems I'm going to show you here that result from linear first order analysis. Here I have a simple structure. It's basically, if you want a hanging sign type problem where I've got a cantilevered column with a, a member framing off the top, and it's currently under just self load. If I go to the result view, I'm going to see a message that many of you will see during your work with visual analysis. And that is there's a problem that the stiffness diagonal is a zero stiffness diagonal is found. Sometimes I might even say negative stiffness diagonal has been found. And what does that really mean? Well, it really means that we couldn't solve for the equations to get the deflected shape. And so bottom line is you have an unstable structure. Well, let's go back to our structure again and look at it. And let's look at the most common cause of problems with unstable structures, and that is member releases. I don't have the member releases turned on in the moment, but I'm going to turn them on now. And let's take a look at what we get. Well, if we look at this upper beam, we see we're releasing the moment at the start and the end. And obviously, then if we've got a cantilever and we release the moment at the start and the end, it's going to fall over. So if I take that member, select it, and change the releases so that I don't have end releases. So let's switch that to a rigid connection. Now analysis proceeds fine. So very first thing to know about errors, look very closely at your member releases. Let's take a look at another example where I have a three dimensional frame. And I've got lateral loads applied, columns are pin based, and it looks like a pretty normal type structure. Again, let's look at results. When I look at results, I'm seeing some things that may be a little troubling. For example, if we look at the displacements over here in the results, we have huge displacements. So that's obviously an issue. If I drop down the status bar, we're seeing that there are some result cases that have significant statics on balance. Let's take a look at the statics check report as it's suggesting for this problem. So if I go to my report view and I drag the statics check off for off as the table type, that will be in results tables. I am seeing that I have a huge error in, in an unbalanced moment about the Z axis. And what's that mean? Well, one thing we do in visual analysis to try to help and protect you is we always perform a statics check on these linear first order analyses. And what we do is we look at all the reactions that are on the structure and we compare them to the applied loads. And when the reactions don't match the applied loads, we've obviously got a structure that's not in equilibrium. So the statics check is a dead giveaway. It's probably deflecting too much. And the moments produced by that deflected shape are much different than the moments produced by the undeflected shape, which is the assumption in a linear analysis that it is the undeflected shape that's in equilibrium, which is really not true at all. So let's now look at another version of this problem where we will basically take the same structure and do one thing different. We are going to take the releases and add to them a torsional release. So I'm going to turn on the member releases now so we can see that we I have simple connections. Basically, my, my girders and my beams are simply connected to the column. But if I look at the releases, in addition to being simply connected, the torsion has been released at the end. Now let's see what we get when we go to a results view. Well, we're getting nothing now. And in fact, it's telling us that your structure is unstable. And so what's happening here? Well, going back to the model view and looking at all these releases, my columns are pinned at the base. My beams are all released in moment. 
and therefore we have mechanisms. This whole thing can basically collapse like a mechanism. And these are the difficult ones when you have problems with your analysis in that you can have local mechanisms in your structure that make an unstable portion of your structure and the analysis won't complete. So again, I want to point out that member releases can be a real issue when you're having statics check problems or if you're just not getting a solution at all.